and by them and all those with hijabs, with turbans, who want to wear the cross, because we know that it's not the clothes you wear that define you, and that you can be, you can contribute to a secular society while at the same time maintaining your religious beliefs. Because I'm not willing to tell my children who at any point in their lives can decide that they're going to follow a different faith or a different path of spirituality that I've given them, that they might have to choose between who they are and what they want to do for their Quebec. I'm not willing to do that. L'idée de l'État laïque est très claire. It means that if I'm wearing my kippa, if you are wearing your hijab, if you're wearing your mohawk punk haircut with five earrings in your nose, the state is blind and your right to be part of it in every way is sacred. Ça c'est mon Québec. Il y a des gens qui nous demandent pourquoi est-ce que vous faites un rassemblement à l'ouest de Montréal? Vous êtes tellement différent que le reste du Québec. Et je réponds en disant mais c'est vrai que nous parlons plus l'anglais ici. C'est vrai que nous avons plus de groupes ethniques. Mais nous partageons les mêmes valeurs que tous les Québécois et Québécoises. La valeur de solidarité. Moi, je ne suis pas pratiquant. Je ne porte pas des signes religieuses. Mais j'en ai des amis, j'en ai des voisins qui portent des signes religieuses. Je suis en solidarité avec eux. Has anyone here seen a study that the government brought forward that says that a child is negatively impacted because his teacher wears a kippa or a hijab? Never. Never. Has anyone here seen a study that this government has put forward showing that somebody is negatively impacted because the civil servant that deals with them wears a religious symbol? No. There is zero empirical evidence that there is a problem, and that's exactly why they're using the notwithstanding clause. That's what's really wrong with Bill 21. It's a bill that seeks to solve a non-existent problem. Moi-même, je suis né ici à Montréal, de parents immigrants qui sont venus au Québec. Pourquoi? Ben pour une promesse d'un meilleur avenir parce qu'ils voulaient vivre dans une société sécuritaire et ouverte, et à cause de la langue française. J'ai grandi ici, ils m'ont envoyé aux écoles. Je participe à la société, je pense que je contribue à la société. Pourquoi créer un plafond, M. Legault? C'est injuste, on devrait dénoncer cette loi. In our school, and in my class, everyone is treated equally and respectfully, regardless of their religion, skin color, or sexual orientation. I am also a married, Orthodox Jewish woman. I wear a headscarf in public at all times. Contrary to what some Bill 21 proponents like to claim, the Jewish religion is not just about how you feel in your heart. In fact, we have a set of 613 commandments. We are expected to perform them to the best of our abilities. One of these commandments is to walk with modesty. For Orthodox Jews, this means a man must wear a kippah and a married woman must cover her hair. If Bill 21 becomes law and the government asks me to remove my kerchief for work, it is not simply asking me to leave my identity at the door. It would be asking me to change the way I practice my religion, to break a requirement of my faith. I personally believe in and support the neutrality of the state and the public education system. What I would like however, is for students to say, this teacher is proud of who she is, and she is not afraid to show it. Bravo! Une des fondatrices de Montréal était Jean Mans, et elle a créé l'Hôtel Dieu. Elle et trois autres sœurs. The first health network in Quebec was founded in the 1640s by nuns. It's a good thing Mr. Legault wasn't around back then, because Montreal never would have gotten off the ground. It struck me the other day that we have a, a Minister of Defense that wears a turban. He's a Sikh. <laughs> Minister Harjit Sajjan, fought in Afghanistan, is one of Canada's highly, most highly decorated soldiers. Yet he could not come back here 
and teach music in a public school in the province of Quebec. The only reason he shouldn't teach music in the province of Quebec is because he's a lousy musician. <laughs> Not because of what he wears on his head, but because he just can't play the guitar very well. So yes, the sign is right. Ce qui a dans ma tête, pas sur ma tête. The proposed legislation would be contrary to the values we teach our children, in particular, the values of diversity, acceptance, tolerance, and respect for individual rights and freedoms. Je crois qu'il a été le principal moteur de cette séparation a été mené par qui? Ça a été mené par des catholiques progressistes. Et c'était des religieux, c'était des, des gens qui avaient aussi la foi. Et le fait que j'ai la foi moi aussi, ça ne change en rien que j'enseigne à l'université. Ça ne change en rien que je siège au Conseil de Ville de Montréal. Je, je siège parce que je suis un Québécois, fier de l'être. Je suis un Montréalais et je travaillerai pour monsieur et madame tout le monde.